I'm taken yes. to 1932. Yes. I'm in this country now in 1932. And the Lord took me to a place called Ethiopia. And from Ethiopia, he took me to Eritrea. And I stood in a place called Baraka. Oh my yes. God, yes. This is where your great-grandfather used to stay. How are you? Welcome to another one. So we're going to be touching on the prophetic ministry and the significance of some certain individuals in the prophetic. And here we're going to be talking about prophet angel listen to those words which were said by prophet lovey elias it is because of her and her husband the senior prophet because of them i even knew what preaching looks like i will never forget the impact they have had in my life i will never forget what they have done for me i will always appreciate them even in heaven i will always appreciate them because anyone remember your foundation is the most important thing wrong foundation you don't build this is evidence of the foundation they laid within me i appreciate her i appreciate her husband who is the father of probably, if not 90% of the prophets in the world. He has impacted so many prophets. And you can see the impact of the prophetic from them. I am definitely a benefactor. Wow, so Prophet Lovey said, Prophet Angel raised 90% of the prophets that are there right now, including him. That's very powerful. Listen to this. A prophet is someone number one, or a prophetess is someone number one who is recognized by the church, not by some little congregation, someone with 30 people, by the church. And speaking of recognition by the church, listen to all these fathers that we have who are saying that Prophet Angel is the prophet that God has sent to raise others. Let's listen. Prophet Angel. It's the most remarkable prophet in the church today. If you, if you, if you want to know what is the ministry of a prophet, that's the ministry of a prophet. So, uh, when you see prophets, you might angel, it's not a title. Some may have it as a title. This one is not a title. Not a title at all. It's a real calling and ministry. No, you know some people have, I call you any time so you give yourself, I'll call you. You understand that? But she's not called prophetess because it sounded nice that if the husband is called a prophet, she should be called prophetess. Neither is he called a prophet because it sounded nice. No, I know many people who are prophets by title. No, it's true, I know many. But he's truly a prophet of God. I have my friend here all the way from Zimbabwe, we're really from England, Prophet Angel and his precious wife, they operate in the office of a prophet, God's hands on him in, in, a, in a very unique way, with the operation of the word of knowledge that is probably, I've never seen it in another human being like that, I mean, I, this is real, this is real, he was eating berries at a bush, And the Lord said, I've raised you up as a prophet for the last days. That's a unique anointing that God is using to shake whole regions. Presidents call him to get a word. And Prophet Makandiwa also said this. That when it comes to visions of the day where you have a man that you know can either close his eyes or open his eyes and he can see at any given moment. Mm -hmm. Prophet Jubit Angel, if I'm not sure of what I'm seeing concerning you, there's one man that I can call now. And I say to him, I'm trying to help a gentleman here. 
but there is something that is not coming out clear. Can you share? As long as it is the prophetic. You know, you don't come across such an eye. So he is recognized by the church that he is a prophet and that he has been sent to raise other prophets. So we're going to be listening to Apostle Johnson Suleiman also as he talks about Prophet Angel. And before we get into that, we also had Prophet Corbus van Resberg who say that since the time of William Branham, there has not been another man except Prophet Angel who has risen in the same capacity. So this is um, big. So let's listen to what Apostle Johnson Suleiman had to say. And I saw a prophet ministering and prophesying to people. I stayed glued for about 10, 15 minutes. I kept watching. But one thing that struck me that got more attention more was his respect for the word. Many, many prophets, many prophets prophesy, I mean, pray for the sick, but there's no word in them. There's no word in them. And when I saw the value for the word, I got very interested and I watched a couple of other times and from then we spoke and we've been close ever since he's a great man of God and an ambassador not not honorary appointment not honorary the government gave that to him an ambassador in this country and doing a great work around the world great work around the world and i've been hearing some of you saying that apostle suleiman was saying that there is no father of the prophetic it's only god yes in that sense i agree with him that god is the father of the prophetic in the sense that he's the source so because the word father just means source but there's another way you can refer the word father to a father is a person who raises other people so in the modern day prophetic as we had prophet lovey he has raised 90 percent of the prophets there so he says that is the father of the modern day prophetic because he has been used by god to raise people in the prophetic well this man of god has been attacked mercilessly we have we even saw a documentary coming out where he was attacked and Prophet Love has words to share as to why it is not possible for a man like Prophet Angel to be brought down. So tell me what you think about all this. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Meet you in the next one as always. Which minister would you like me to also talk about, about their influence in ministry? Tell me in the comments below. God bless you. Tell me. A carpenter is somebody that is able to build even if you try to destroy them you cannot when god appoints somebody there are people who are anointed to be craftsmen that even in their own mistake you can never bring them down because every prophet operates from a tower if you pull down the tower you have destroyed their ministry but there are those ones, if you break it down, they can build it again better than they did before. Come on. So no matter what you try to do to them, they don't go down, they just build a bigger structure. Amen. I feel like I'm talking to myself. If you look at the church, if you look at the church, there are men of God that made mistakes and there are men of God that didn't make mistakes. But those whom people have come after, majority of them have gone down. Uh, hello? hello? Majority of them have been taken down. Pulled down to the floor. Look at this video, look at that video. Their credibility is gone. But a carpenter, you can't pull them down. It is impossible. I don't know if somebody can hear me. You know, I remember a few months ago, this was big, big news. The father of the prophetic was on Al Jazeera. They famed this, they famed that, and it was really bad. Everybody said he is finished, he is done. His church doubled in size. Are you hearing me? Everything shifted. Why? You can't destroy a carpenter. 
if they make a mistake, God will deal with them. You cannot judge another man's servant. Are, are you understanding what I'm saying? 